Sign your name to the Pony Express Oath. Howdy now, that's Buffalo Bill Cody. And she's Calamity Jane. You're about to become a heroic rider for the Pony Express. A rough, rough riding job tailor made for kids like us. The Pony Express mail goes from St. Joseph, Missouri, all the way to San Francisco, 2,000 miles away. You can bet there's plenty of danger on the route. You gotta get past bandits and bushwhackers. And dangerous Civil War spies. You see, the southern states and northern states have been arguing about slavery. And some southern states are pulling out of the United States, calling themselves the Confederate States of America. But you're not riding north or south, you're heading west. These territories ain't proper states in the Union just yet. But they're rich in sun, soil, and silver. And those Confederates would do anything to steal them away. That's why President Lincoln needs a rider like you. On, on the, the Pony Express! Express. Yeehaw! This here's your journal. It'll keep track of everything you need to know. But we'll be around if you need any help. Now it's up to you to become a legendary rider on the Pony Express. Good, Good luck! luck. Missouri, Kansas, March 1861. <laughs> so you're the new rider. Congratulations. I'm Raymond, the Pony Express station keeper for St. Joe, Missouri. <laughs> now, the mail's not here yet. It's coming in by train from the east. Should be here mm, about an hour. You know, you ought to go over to the crowd. Practice up your riding and shooting. I'll give you a holler when everything's ready. Now, Fred, I was not pulling your leg about that practice. You're headed out across bleeding Kansas, chock full of bandits and rebels, burning down houses, making orphans out of Kansas kids. You gotta know how to use your gun proper. Me, <laughs> I get to stay right here in St. Joe. Yes, sir. <laughs> St. Joe, Missouri. Sweetest spot in the whole union. I'll tell you. You know, every railroad, every riverboat from the east stops right here. And every stagecoach, every wagon heading out across the prairie starts right here. You know where you're at, friend? You're at the great jumping off point. <laughs> You sure are an eager beaver. But there's more to this job than getting a jackrabbit start. Riders have got to be ready for bandits and bushwhackers and engines. I sure do recommend you get a little practice before the mail arrives. Dear Mr. Bradley, I am appointing you a special agent for the United States. There are troubling rumors about a group of Southern spies plotting attacks against the Union. You must find them and stop them. I suggest you enlist stout-hearted Pony Express riders to help you. A. Lincoln. Dear Miss.
You got six shots, Mike him can't. Great shooting. <laughs> A little more practice, you'll be as good as they come. My name is Daniel Bradley. I'm a special agent for President Lincoln. There's a secret group of Southern spies brewing up trouble like the devil's coffee. I don't know what they're called or who's in charge, but when I find out, they'll be wearing shackles for pajamas. Keep an eye out for clues, Ryder. I could sure use your help. This country needs young heroes. If the Pony Express gets the mail through, some of it from President Lincoln himself, we can keep this country united. Just in time to take President Lincoln's speech to Marysville. Have a listen. <clears throat> now the southern states want to break away and form their own country, called the Confederate States of America. As president, I will not allow it. When we say United States, it means all of us. All states united as one nation. My golly, if anyone can hold this union together, he can. The southern states say they must have slavery. The rest of us say all men are created equal. No man should ever own another. Now the southern states want to break away and form their own country called the Confederate States of America. As president, I will not allow it. When we say United States, it means all of us, all states, united as one nation. Dearest Mother, a kindly telegraph operator helped me write this to you. St. Joseph is the busiest place I've ever seen. Everybody I meet here is heading west. I'm excited to do my part as a soldier in the U.S. Army. The train line ends here. We travel on by horse and wagon. I miss you and your cooking a whole lot. Your loving son, Spurs. This here's the last telegraph station between here and California, my friend. Anyone out west wants to read this speech? You pony riders gotta tear it out there. Good luck to A code breaking pro.
Okay, here it is. You know, I'm from Kentucky, and that's a slave state. If Kentucky were to pull out from the Union, I'd be worried sick about my ma. I'm being sent out west to Fort Kearney, Nebraska Territory. That's a long ways from Kentucky if war breaks out there. Thanks a lot for helping me with that telegraph. Gus here showed me this telegram. It just came in a little while ago. Look at this, it's actually a coded message. Notice that I underlined the third word, then every fifth word after that. That's what the three slash five in the corner means. Dear friends, first stop is Kansas. The Union must bleed. Drangul. Drangul. I wonder how he's involved in all this. You keep your eyes peeled for any more of these coded messages. Mail's ready to go! Your horse is ready to go. You get that mail to Marysville, the next rider will take it from there. Your orders are on that wall by the door. Get going! <laughs> Remember, you got to get the mail to Mary's Mill before the sun goes down. Uh-oh, looks like we got bushwhackers ahead. See if you can scare them off. Aim high. This'll teach you not to meddle in our business. Let's make a break for it! Uh-oh. We got a rattlesnake on the trail. Careful. Don't spook him. Lay down, Ryder. You spooked him with your quick draw. about the best time I ever seen for a brand new face. Welcome to the Kickapoo Kansas Swing Station. Swing Station's sort of like a rest stop, and I'd say your horse could use a breather. Go shake your dust off and take a walk. The new territories out west will make this nation even stronger. We must do everything in our power to keep the West in the Union and to keep it free of slavery. You're headed for the center of Bleeding, Kansas. Know why they call it Bleeding? People have been fighting over slavery for years, shooting guns and burning down buildings. We just became a free state and folks is still fighting. Everybody's taking sides. Looks like a message.
the hang of that Morse code pretty quick. Can you point out the Butterfield Trail for me? Thank you. Since you're so good at this, can you point out the Santa Fe Trail for me? Thank you. Can you point out the California Trail for me? Thanks. That's a help. Since you're so good at this, can you point out the Mormon Trail for me? Thank you. You sure do know the West. Boy, you gave me a start. I, th I thought you might be, you know, one of those bounty hunters looking to catch runaways. I gotta get to Marysville. I got a friend there. <sighs> What's wrong? You never learned how to read and write? My friend, Miss Angelina, she taught me how to read. All in secret. Because it's against the rules, you know, to teach a slave to read. This is the diary of Harlan Howard. I was born a slave on the Lloyd family plantation. One night, the slave cabins caught fire. In the confusion, I ran away. Now I will be a free man. I'm headed to Marysville to see Miss Angelina Gray. Maybe she can help me get to California. This is the... There's a rumor about a secret Confederate group. They're out to make trouble for anyone who represents the Union, and that includes the Pony Express. You watch your back now. Your orders are by the door. Remember, your horse knows the trail. If you think you're lost, he'll show you the way. Welcome to Marysville, Kansas. Name's Pave. Considering all them bandits roaming the flatlands, you sure got here in quick time. I'm guessing you brought the president's speech. This town's fit to explode once that speech gets published. To all Pony Express riders, we are grateful to the young riders of the Pony Express. Your courage and energy are helping knit together the ragged edges of a rising nation. A. Lincoln. Equal Rights for All by Angelina Greer. Some people say that if black men and women cannot come into the new state of Kansas as slaves, they should be shut out of the West altogether. I say, let the West be free. Give all the right to vote. Give free men land to farm. Why, there's some Southerners here hoping you wouldn't make it. They don't want people hearing the president talk against slavery, and they don't want Miss Angelina Greer putting it in her newspaper. This could get real nasty. Mm. 
There's orders by the door for another job. Starts next month in Hollenburg, Kansas. You could leave now, but some government fella just came around looking for you. Didn't say much, but his face told a story. There's trouble. Commander Drangul! That's Supreme Commander Drangul. Yes, Commander. Frank, Jesse, are you two Kansas boys prepared to join the Knights of the Golden Circle? We, we are. are. Excellent. You two will move west, posing as prospectors looking to strike it rich. No one will suspect what we've really planned. Can we go to Nevada? You will go where I say and not a step further. But you begin. A little job right here in town. Decode this note and destroy it. Now you think you can handle that? Yes, sir. Come on! What, what, what should I do with this? Tear it up, you dimwit! Do Daughter of the South, now is the time to spy. Find where army weapons will be, Drangul. Oath of allegiance to the Knights of the Golden Circle. As a Knight of the Golden Circle, I, Jesse Fuller, do solemnly swear to uphold Southern rights and protect Southern homes. I will use force to punish or kill all enemies of the South. I promise never to reveal anything that I see or hear in the Knights of the Golden Circle meetings. Those who reveal these secrets will be killed. Jesse Fuller. Town's newspaper press. Why, that's a plan to destroy the Marysville Free Press. It's a good thing you found and decoded it. I'll make sure no one touches that printing press. Say, what's this? Hmm. Can't make heads or tails out of this little thing. Maybe it'll be useful down the line. all the way from Mississippi and you won't even spend one night with your cousin. I've got pressing engagements out west. What could be more pressing than a family reunion after all these years? Certain business you wouldn't approve of. Oh, don't you dare go spreading that Confederate slander out west. I am a proud patriot of the South and you should be too. How can you side with the North? They're trying to destroy our whole way of life. 
It's a way of life built on the backs of slaves. Angelina, I love you dearly, but you're on the wrong side. I'll be sure to write. Dear Lord, she is a stubborn mule. You did a brave thing. Thanks to you, everyone in this town will be able to read President Lincoln's speeches. There is nothing worse than a great truth smothered by small-minded people. If these men of the Confederate States of America are so sure slavery is a good thing, perhaps they should live as a slave for a few months. I would be most interested to hear their opinion after that. What to the slave is the 4th of July, by Frederick Douglass? What to the American slave is your 4th of July? Are the great principles of political freedom and of natural justice embodied in the Declaration of Independence extended to us? There is not a nation guilty of practices more shocking and bloody than are the people of the United States who allow slavery to continue. Equal rights for all. Good thing you saved that newspaper. They'll be putting you all over the front page. There's another job posted by the door. Starts in Hollenburg, Kansas next month. It's all yours if you want it. Good luck on the trail, Ryder. Kansas, Nebraska Territory, April 1861. 